Pisces, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. So I'm going to pull four cards from this deck and if we need more, then I'll get some more. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? Okay. So we have time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action, holding back. I should have expressed myself better. We also have secrets. I haven't told you everything and irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. Who had these same cards in the same position? Let me think really quick. Okay, put your thinking cap on, sis. <laughs> like, who just had these same four cards? I want to say um, it was either Leo or Sagittarius. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. And if you are, go watch that reading. Because, like, the same four cards came out. Also, oh wait, was it Capricorn? Oh my God. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't um, remember who it was, but I'm telling you the same four cards came out in the same position. So someone is wondering if it's too late to take action towards you. They're holding back, but they want to come towards you. They want to talk. They want to work this out. I'm hearing, I still love you, Pisces. I'm sitting here thinking about everything that I've done and I'm I'm ready to apologize or I want to apologize, but I don't know if you want to hear it. All right. So let me get some more. Let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? All right. So we have reunion, confusion, gossip, damage, and missed opportunity. All right, so I'm just going to grab guilty because it was just like sliding to the side like it wanted me to pick it up. All right, we will always come back to each other. I feel unclear about where we stand. I'm afraid of what other people will think. All right, so this could be something involving someone's family or and maybe this person wants to walk away from another situation, Pisces, to be with you. And they're afraid of what their family members are going to think or their friends or if they're married and they have to divorce someone in order to be with you. They're wondering what uh, everyone is going to think. We also have damage. We are both hurting from this and missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. I feel pain from the damage I have caused. So I just see a lot of guilty feelings, a lot of remorse and regret from, from someone who wants to apologize, but they're wondering if now is the time, if you're going to accept their apology or if you're going to reject them. Maybe you've rejected this person already. Maybe they tried to reach out to you and they couldn't. You could have possibly blocked them. But the next part we have is mend. I want to fix our connection and I haven't given up on us yet. Okay. So let's jump into this other deck. And let's see. So what messages do you have for Pisces? Confused. I'm confused. Emotionally immature. Doesn't know how to treat you. Lacks presence. It's like this person doesn't come around as much as they used to. I mean, yeah. They don't come around as much as they used to or they don't come around as much as they should. So you may be thinking like, how can I have a relationship with this person that I hardly ever see? And when they do come around, they may not have much to say or they may come around and stay for a short amount of time and then they leave. They may tell you like, oh, I'll be back or um, I'll call you later. and We'll get together again and then you don't see or hear from this person. All right, so we have Bay Vacation. I want to take you on a romantic trip, just the two of us. We have Secrets, Karma, and we also have Pissed Off. All right, so this is some... No wonder this person's confused. All right, so you caught someone doing something for some of you. Take it how it resonates. It may not be everyone's story, but... We have pissed off, getting caught, secrets revealed. So this person was exposed. Some of you exposed this person or you have something on them 
and you may be holding back and not talking and they know you have something on them. And so they're wanting to make something right with you by maybe talking about you and this person maybe may have been talking about going on a vacation and maybe you're like okay that's that's off i'm calling that off like we're not going to be able to do a vacation if you are cheating or if you're keeping secrets but i feel like this is this person's karma something happened here and they're like why me and you know we are in mercury retrograde so i feel like there's a lot of things going on um in the universe right now that's causing a lot of confusion you know people arguing not getting along secrets and things you know coming to the surface people are finding out things about their person all right spirit what messages do you have for pisces drama yep Exactly what I just said. There's a lot of petty arguments, but I feel like there's a lot of things that is coming to the surface that needs to come to the surface. We have allowing access. I'm an open book. Ask me anything. I have nothing to hide. I feel like this person um, will tell you this when you call them out on a lie. They're like, oh, ask me anything. I have nothing to hide. And you're like, I just found out something about you that you was hiding. So why are you, you lying right now? <laughs> like, you're lying right now. Someone may tell you, Pisces, that you're an open book. And that they'll tell you whatever you want to know. Because I feel like you're going to be saying to this person, what is going on? I know something is happening behind my back. I feel it. Some of you feel something. Your intuition is, and your gut feeling is really kicking in. And your the universe is telling you to trust it. I'm hearing trust your intuition, trust your gut feeling when it comes to this person. You know, somebody wants to apologize. Or they will be apologizing to you. We have addictions. We also have unfinished business and watching you. So some of you may be dealing with someone when they get stressed out, they smoke or they drink or they use drugs. Maybe this person told you that they were going to quit and they haven't and you found out something concerning it. Maybe somebody told you that they were still using or still drinking or you saw something on social media. This person is spying on you some sort of way. Spying on you, being sneaky, trying to see if you're with someone else. Maybe you told this person it's done you're you're over it you don't want to be bothered and you shut them down in some sort of way this is someone who shows off a lot and floss money that they don't really have they're actually tight with money but they may show money on social media or they may buy something and show it and you be like you can't even really afford that like why are you even <laughs> like yeah look at that and money issues came right out when i was shuffling I want to take you out, but I can't right now because I have money issues. So this person has bills that they need to pay, but I feel like they show off to other people. Like they may meet someone and show off to a third party. And I feel like you know, like their background, you know what they have. Like this person may not have a stable job or um, they may not make a lot of money, but they make people think that they do. What messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? Okay, so we have stop giving up on us. You're stuck with me. Understanding, talking things out, hearing one another and compromising. So the universe is saying some of you are going to hear this person out, even though you may not want to, but you want to figure out what to do about this. You just don't want to keep going in the same cycle over and over again because you feel like you keep going through the same thing with them and you're just getting nowhere. Some of you feel like you're overworked. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Look what came out right after it. Overworked and pampering. You work too hard. You stretch yourself thin, but I feel like you may do this to um, sort of take your mind off whatever it is that you're going through with your person. The universe is saying that you need to show yourself some some love, some self-love and, and treat yourself to maybe a spa 
or to get your your feet and your nails done you know maybe a facial or something so if you are bored with this relationship you feel like you need more out of life you need more out of a partner you're unfulfilled or it's hard to get on the same page with this person spirit what messages do you have for pisces oh, this card just almost living for x lover okay so somebody wants you back so you're gonna get some good news about this but i feel like you're heartbroken some of you are heartbroken about something maybe a third party because we have third parties someone is interfering trying to stop them from being with you and we have no more chances i can't trust you you hurt me time after time I'm learning my lessons with you. So some of you found out something or you saw something or somebody said something or you got into an argument with this person and it was over a third party or it was over them lying about something or and it's continuous. I feel like you're always catching this person in a lie. I'm also picking up the energy that somebody will call you and set up a date with you or make plans and they will break their plans and won't call you or text you or say anything. And then have the audacity to say, I want you back. I realize you're the only one for me. So somebody may come in telling you that and you're trying to figure out like, what do I do with this? I got to figure this out because I can't keep going back and forth with this person. Okay. Okay. Let's get some tarot. And let's see what else the universe wants you to know. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords reversed. Um... You just feel like you have no clue where this is going. This person's intentions. You're like, every time you ask them, you may even try to ask this person, where do they see this connection going? And either they don't tell you, they try to deflect from the conversation, or they they ask why. Like, I don't know. Something weird about the energy. There, what messages do you have for Pisces? There could be a Leo here, but the strength card reverse, or you may feel like you don't have strength to do this with this Leo anymore. Yeah, the Five of Cups. But someone wants to talk to you, they may want to apologize because that's the next you you came right at. <laughs> like I'm done. My cup is closed. I don't even want to talk. Yeah, some of you feel like this is just not going to be what you thought it was. But it may, um, it may make you a little emotional, Pisces, because I don't feel like you're ready to give this person up. I feel like there is love here. But what you're wanting out of this, I just don't feel like this person may want that right now. I thought like you guys are on two different paths. And it's not because this person don't love you. It's just because, yeah, because they want to hang on to you with the four of pentacles. But they're being sneaky. They're being sneaky, but they still want to hang on to this connection. And somebody's not ready to change with the death card reverse. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. You feel like there's always a lot of secrets with this person. Do you have for Pisces? Seven of Pentacles. Somebody don't want to give up on what you guys have built together, but they don't know how to act. And they're not bringing in anything stable. Look at this person. Knight of Cups reversed. Constantly looking for excuses and blaming others or blaming you for, for things not turning out right. When you guys have a conversation about what's going on in your relationship and you try to let this person know what you're feeling and what you're seeing it's like they try to argue with you and you're like how can you argue with me like why are you arguing with me why can't you just say that you're going to change and you're going to do better because the death card is reversed here so someone is resisting change they're resisting um 
they're resisting doing the right thing here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? Uh -huh. Somebody wants a new beginning. Could be an Aries here or a Gemini. They're still very much so attracted to you. We have Capricorn energy, Aries energy, and Gemini energy here. But you don't know. Some of you don't know whether you're going to leave or if you're going to stay. You haven't figured it out yet. We have the moon. This person feels like you've already left them. Someone is sad, feeling like, you know, they can't. Yes, it's King of Wands. I feel like this person, somebody has mental health is issues. And you know it. Maybe they don't take their medication. Or even if they take their medication, they really can't control it. Because like one minute they want to be with you and they want to do the right thing. And I feel like this person's intentions are good one minute. And then the next minute they're going in a totally different direction. They're turning their back. And even though you really love this person, you're like, I can't deal with this. And they know it. They know you can't deal with this because they're showing up as the nine of swords and you're showing up as the eight of swords. Both of you guys are in your head about each other. They're in their head because they know that you're fed up and you can't deal with this five of pentacles energy of them leaving you out in the cold and then coming back around when they want and expecting you to be okay with it. Yeah, somebody is doing a lot of thinking about you and the Six of Cups is here. Like, they want a reconciliation. They want to apologize and tell you what's on their heart, but they think you don't want to hear it or that you're going to reject them in some sort of way. And so I feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like this person is afraid to talk to you, Pisces. I just feel like... um. Maybe whatever you're going to say to them, they don't want to hear it. All right, let's get one more. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting a message from Spirit. Like, the universe is saying, do nothing. Don't do anything. If you don't want to do anything, like, don't feel the need to... Pick up the phone when this person calls. Don't feel the need to text them back when they text you. If you feel like doing nothing, do nothing. Because it may be what you need to help your situation. This may be what you need to do to help your situation. So that this person can see like they can't keep coming back and forth. Being inconsistent. Pulling away from you. And then coming back expecting you to be okay with this uh, energy. And still keep them around. So I'm hearing tough love. Show this person tough love. So we have the eight of pentacles. Some of you are just working and you're a little bit stressed about this because I feel like you truly love this person, but you're showing up as the empress. So you're like, mm, I got things to do. I don't have time to babysit. You're not a child. You're an adult. Get your shit together. <laughs> okay. But this person may come. Yeah. Right after you guys have had a tower moment, um, maybe an argument or just, you know, not on the same page. It's going to be different for everyone. But the tower is showing up here with the two of cups. So someone's going to be telling you that they still love you. Like, yeah, I know we went through something, but I feel like you're going to be trying to end it or maybe just pulling away from this person. Maybe focusing on yourself. Some of you are doing really well for yourself. And this person knows it. And they know that losing you would suck. <laughs> like, straight, it would suck. And so now I feel like they're trying to um, come back around and get your attention. Because we have the star card. And we also have the eight of wands. So messages may start coming in from this person. Wanting to heal this. Could be an Aquarius. We have Aquarius, Aries energy. We also have um, Cancer energy here as well with the Two of Cups. 
Maybe this person really does love you, Pisces, but they just don't know how to act. And in that regard, like, yeah, you, you feel like you can't keep fighting with someone. It could be a Leo here with the sun reverse. You're not happy with the situation. But we do have the judgment card here. So some of you may give this person a second chance, not wanting to, but just, you know, sitting down, having a conversation with them and just hearing this person out. And they may tell you they're going to change and that they mean it this time. Just give them another chance. Because I see them coming back in here. I don't see someone saying, okay, cool, Pisces don't want me. Then I don't want them either. I'm gone. No, I fight. this person's going to try to fight for this with the five of wands here and the judgment second chances just when you thought something was over and it was done and you're like cool i'm just gonna walk away from it here they come back in trying to pull your attention in the opposite direction so those are the messages that i have for your reading pisces thank you for watching my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye